Chuck Weiner. I live in Canal Fulton, Ohio. I'm an engineer. I uh, began working in 1962 after graduating from college. I'm retired now, but I'm still very much active in related areas, and I'm very much interested in the work that Witz and Timothy Pratt were doing. I've been in his lab numerous times. I've seen demonstrations, and though I'm a skeptic, I've seen the truth of what he can do in his lab. He's learned how to convert dominant energy, energy that exists on this planet and in the universe, into usable electrical power. And that's very important for all of us because it is key to becoming independent of fossil fuels and other pollutants that uh, are downgrading the life on this planet. The interesting thing about his lab is that there are no hidden wires, no secret connections anywhere to make the prototypes in the lab function. Even a 9-volt battery, once it's removed after being used to start uh, one of the processes turning, after being removed, the process continues to run. And when you put a load on it, the output becomes significantly greater. Very interesting the way all of this works. The same dominant energy sources can be used to break water down into its uh, monoatomic elements, oxygen, hydrogen and oxygen. When you recombine these in an internal combustion energy, you get significantly more power out than it took to break them down into their monoatomic elements. Timothy and his, and his engineers have converted vehicles that operate without fuel and without requiring a trunk full of storage batteries. No recharging cable required. It's very interesting that we can do this because it eliminates the need for fuel stops. It eliminates the need for burning gasoline or any other fossil fuel or, or vegetable fuel too. They all, they all cause the same kind of pollution. Is this technology new? I don't think so. Nikolai Tesla understood it um, many years ago. Others too have known uh, how to eliminate dependence on fossil fuels. All of you listening to this get behind this kind of a project. It's the only way we can affect change. We need to change the world by changing the world one person at a time. And it begins with each one of you. It begins with us, but it begins with each one of you. And together, we can change the world. And we can make this kind of thing happen. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. And that's the idea of what we